Now, let's start with the biggest picture of all. Anyone who opposes granting amnesty to illegal aliens has been called a racist ever since this, this discussion began. We've heard it. We're used to it. It's a lie. It's one of the big lies. But as Goebbels, Hitler's propaganda minister, said, if you tell a big lie often enough, it will become the truth. So if you love your country and you believe in the integrity of your nation and you believe there should be a set of laws about immigration and everything else, you're not a, you're not a racist. What you are is a person who loves your country. But I'll again bring it down to brass tacks. Who is going to pay for them? How do you feel amnesty for 30 million illegal aliens will affect you and your family? The phone number is 855-400-7282. While you're pondering that, I'd like to play Senator John the Shane McCain in clip number four, please. Any immigration legislation that passes Congress must establish practical legal channels for workers to enter the United States, whether they're high skill, low skill, or agriculture workers, so we can free up federal officials to focus on those individuals truly intending to do our na nation harm through drug smuggling, people trafficking, and possibly terrorism. Really? That's interesting. You mean illegal immigrants all don't come here to do good, John? I thought that the television networks told us that none of them uh, do drug smuggling, none of them traffic in, uh, in humans, and none of them conduct terrorism. I thought they all come here to mow lawns and to use leaf blowers, John.